Uh, good morning to to everyone, and, and also want to thanks uh, Hashim and Andres and Justine. I make <laughs> I make the whole for all, all all this work they do since uh, uh, one year to prepare this uh, third uh, seminar. So I, I'm uh, David Morgan. So I was a teacher in School of Architecture in Marne Valley. De l'architecture de la ville et des territoires, uh, where uh, where I, I was leading a, a master called Master Metropolis. So uh, on a, on the other side, I, I'm professional, so I run an office in, in Paris. So I always be interested to to articulate research. Uh, pedagogic tools and uh, projects. And uh, the questions I uh, always try to, to question me, uh, and, uh, and at the end I made books on, on the subjects, is, is always to find some uh, answer to, to frustration I have in, in the pro professional field. When I do projects, I, I, I'm not very happy by the, the the rules which are given, or uh, by by uh, my own proposals, so this is why uh, I I made those uh, mainly those two books. The one is to give after the big revolution of the Beaux Arts to give just a very simple uh, hand manual handbook. I, we wrote it with uh, Philippe Panray, who just died a few months ago. Uh, it's it's a really very simple uh, way to do what we call projet urbain. Or, uh, it, it's the it's the consequences of the new lecture, uh, kind of structural lecture of the city by the layout, the allotments, the public spaces. All this, who, which didn't interest uh, the modern movement before, and it was a little bit considered that uh, all the tools. But in fact, it was very uh, important to, to, to give back some uh, principles. Another book, for instance, is called Mangrove, Mangrove Urban, Urban Mangrove, excuse me for my French, And it's uh, uh, a, a big study from Paris, Montreal, and Singapore, the relationship in between the metro platforms and the sidewalk. It's, uh, and so there is a lot of very beautiful drawings that explain how the connection, how the networks are, are, are made piece by piece. And, and those questions came because we have the project of Grand Paris Express all around Paris. And there was a lot of discussion how to make the station, how, how are we going to build on, on the station or not? Can we do it? So I, I make these big inquiries and give some principles of how we can uh, make the things better. And another book I made, it's called La Ville Franchisée, Form et Structure de la Ville Contemporaine. It's because I was wondering questions about how the periphery was built when in, in, the, in the 80s, all the landscape in the periphery changed a lot. And they change a lot. I tried to explain that they change a lot by the connection in between the road, especially the high speed road and the ring road, the new shopping mall, the new kind of make the distribu commercial distribution, and the, uh, the hope of the individual houses. So here I am speaking of France, but I tried to, to make a more large discussion and how we can uh, try to get to to move in this already very framing uh, uh, system. And afterwards, since 10 years, I, I, uh, I had another question, which worried me a lot, is that what we can see at, at the eye level is not very, uh, everybody knows it's not, it's not so well. So, uh, uh, this is the, the idea of being interested of what happens uh, on the ground floor. I'm not, I try in this discussion because I, I like you, you keep also the, the Ré de Ville term, 
because we, ha we have to be very careful not to be lost in translation in this discussion, because we, we can discuss a lot. Uh, maybe we could call this seminar suburban uh, ground floor better than urban ground floor. So we maybe we will have this discussion and we'll change the, the word, but at, at the time we have to keep one word and, and afterwards make different interpretation. So this uh, 10 years uh, work, and I'm going to, to explain how we did work, uh, gave this book, he just uh, get out in uh, July, and it's the, where we are at the moment. So yes, I'm sorry, there's a translation, it's urban ground flow, the hidden dimension of urban project. <clears throat> so what's the problem? The problem is, those four slides, when I show it in, in Europe, for instance, they are very obvious for everyone. And, and those four parameters, this is that the landscape, I use the landscape as a generic uh, term, is very uh, busy with the services of car, not, not especially the car itself or the road itself, but you, we all know that car is much more than the vehicle, much more than the road. It's all, all the surfaces uh, uh, of the services of car. And of course, the second consequences of, of that is the artificialization of the, of the soul. <clears throat> Another very obvious question, uh, which uh, worry a lot the mayors, for instance, is the commercial uh, vacancies. Uh, and, and another part of this landscape is the more and more safety in accessibility, like, say, like Andres said, which is a very important discussion that we have today. What is accessible at which condition and so on. So apart from that, what, what, can we, what can we do? We know that we have the challenge of the privatization of the public spaces. The second point is very important because it's, uh, it's, it's why, because I'm so involved in this question, is that uh, uh, most of the people knows that there is a problem, even developer, even uh, mayors, uh, even professionals, but they think that with shopping or with uh, urbanist tactic, for instance, we saw it in the Biennale very, very well, a lot of young students make proposals, they make a lot of people uh, with a lot of uh, uh, FMR uh, uh, proposal. And those two ways to get out of this problem of the, of the users of the, of the ground floor is my opinion, not at the scale at all of, of the problem. Why? Because the, the commercial is really changing and there is no offer to make all the all the ways, all the streets, uh, commercial. So uh, it's, it's, it's really a, a wrong way to do this. Uh, and we have to look to other things. And also, of course, all those are very important in the mental of, of, the, of the people who are discussing this with responsibility. They, they really think to, 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 the, to that kind of solution. And also they have the images that the, the decor, uh, what we call architecture urbaine, just as a facade we, is enough. So this is the point that we have to, to be challenged with and, and go further on. So we, we decided to make two, uh, uh, two time of the study. So during f f four or five years, we, we, we say we, we have to look the thing like they are, not like we, we want that they are. Look at the public space like, like, like it is. So <clears throat> I call it a duty of inventory and in the other part, a duty of invention. So because my, my, my way to, to work is that I want to make things useful that we can put new tools in, in, in the project. So this is two parts that in just small speech, I'm just speaking a little bit of, of the first part. 
And Soraya this afternoon is speaking, like Andres present, about some solutions uh, to that in terms of categories, uh, for, instance. for instance. So for doing that, I am very uh, grateful to the, to the teacher who helped me to, to make this event ready. So we make with connection in different uh, country, in Abedabad, uh, in, in Beirut, in uh, uh, Sao Paulo, in, and so on. We, we make some workshop just looking to this problem of uh, ground floor and, and public spaces. And also we try to be interested as well as formal and informal with the idea that make more informal and the formal city or in the opposite, make more formal, more, more needs in, in the informal city would be uh, very uh, useful. And maybe there is some ideas to, to get in the two situations. So this is the, the end of the first seminar in Montlevene and the, the one in Barcelona. Okay, so for doing that, so I, I'm, I'm explaining you how, how we did work. So we first find a, a protocol that we can share with the different uh, schools. So we were inspired by this uh, drawing on, on the left and we make a scheme like this. And you can see in that scheme that we, we not, we propose to look if this is a classical limit of public and private, much more to look in a, in a deeper way than just this part. But uh, at the beginning, we didn't know until what point and why we, we did this, but, but we have the, the intuition that we can just think about just the, the front edge. And so I'm just, give you a few slides because we, we took examples. So in the book, uh, you have all the, all the materials, so it's much more easier, but just to give you an idea. So we, first we, we use the protocol to, to see what happens in this. So this is a, a Parisian suburb, and you can see that here there is a margin with a garden, private garden, and sometimes, of course, they make a garage, or the other one make a velo and so on and so on. So when we look at this, we were interested by two things in, in the, in, sorry, in, in this thing. We are interested by the users and by the dimensions because it's always the idea to, to find some proposal for planification and for a new way to, to, to make project in, in, in the city. So we started in Sao Paulo with uh, Walter Caldana. He's here, yes. I think so. Uh, and so very, very quickly, we, we found that if you cross all around Sao Paulo, you have a kind of five meters that change, has changed a lot. First it was garden, then it was uh, a parking, then it was parking for commercial, but in this five meters, the people have very different users. So when you know that, you say, well, we have to do something with this. There is this measure which uh, seems to, to, to work uh, quite well. So if you go to the rich uh, neighborhood, those five meters are used for the for extraordinary uh, defense system, kind of a SAS, a military SAS uh, in, the, in this uh, five meters. So you, you, you can see that this is uh, one observation. So we did this in very different cities, choosing examples and in a very pragmatic way. We, we didn't have the ambition to do, to do, to do a whole typology uh, everywhere, so monography. So this, for instance, is the neighborhood of Art Nouveau in Brussels, and they find solutions for commercial, for gardens, and for cars, and even with the <coughs> sorry, with the semi uh, level, and and all is on the line, and and they, they solve the problem of parking a car with very ingenious uh, system. And if you look also different country, uh, Paris, Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo, Beirut, 
you have you choose examples, you have very different situation. Paris is very bad. When you car go to a parking, it's like a hole and you get out very uh, offensively. We also have a very uh, sophisticated in, in the in the rich building uh, that you can go there, the lady come here, it's done nearly a hotel system in, in those kind of uh, building. Uh, so follow, you have some pillars and you have some system all along. And Beirut, it's specific uh, neighborhood uh, in Beirut, you also have system where you go and the car is uh, getting on, on the, well, the car are everywhere in Beirut, but you have also, also this system of the car are, are, are behind. And what is interesting is that you can see when we do this, so we have all, always the five meters idea, what happens in the five meters, but we begin to be interested in a much more deeper uh, uh, consideration. <clears throat> if you go to a, a semi-informal system, when you see those kind in, in Abedabad, it's 15 meters. And in fact, you think that it's different, but here you have a, a informal formation or so, but if you discuss and you stay a few days to, to look at it, it's kind of a logistic system in between the shop, in between the guy here, when he deliberates, in between some of the kiosks. The picture doesn't explain this exactly, but we have in the book different uh, design which, which ex explain this. So in 15 meters, it's not, it's very well organized, it's a commercial system. <clears throat> so you can, you can see that, and, and maybe you also have behind a residential system. So, so the main idea for me, it was that we, we, we start to, to be interested by the whole ground floor, not, not just the front edge. Another example we, we did with uh, Hank Chaker, uh, who was a dean in the US Department of Architecture. We couldn't be here, unfortunately. So he, he did this uh, study, uh, we discussed uh, for it because I, I knew the place. Uh, it's a pilot system. It's uh, the first big housing estate in Singapore are made on pilots. And uh, with, uh, with building of uh, 15, 20, uh, and with older uh, people, more and more older people. And what happens, it's a very interesting uh, situation, is that the elder people, they, they live under the people, on, 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 the, on the, the pillars, and they discuss, they, they nurse uh, the little kids, they play cards, they, they make uh, food, and it's in a ventilated uh, situation. And, uh, and all, all the neighborhood is on pilots and inhabited in a way or another. It's another kind of, a, of a urban ground floor, very efficient. So we, of course, we are from Paris. <laughs> we, we, we look to Paris and what we look, because now we understood that we have to go deeper in the urban fabric. So we, we, we make a, 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 I live here, so a, a, a studio is over there. So it's a place I, I know very well, it's in the uh, Bastille uh, <coughs> et la Nation. And this is a different, you all know the passage, of course, but you have very different kind of courts and courtyard and very interesting courts. And they are not very well known, in fact. And we make a lot of inquiries about it. Soraya is going to explain you uh, this afternoon. And uh, because it solves sometimes the problem of safety and accessibility and mixity. Because in those courts, sometimes there is now uh, la classe creative, we will say that like this. So they work on the ground floor in the court. And when working here, they, they do, you have to let the people, the visitors get in. And so we, uh, the accessibility and the safety, it's only the same uh, condition of, of a good court courtyard where everybody can work. So to finish, I, I want to, I was wondering, the idea by uh, 
uh, the project that Andres proposed us to make it uh, here is that we didn't make inquiries in uh, in uh, in the states. We, we made in South America, as I show you a little bit. But uh, we know, of course, the differences in between the European radio concentric system and the grid uh, system. So we know it's different, but maybe there is some point I would suggest. But of course, I'm very uh, curious of. The, all, all, all you study on, on those subjects, you have something very uh, uh, near uh, of some of the example uh, uh, I show. It's first the uh, the front edge. So if you look at, uh, I'm sorry for this bad picture. I take it in the in, in the plane because there is. A, do the right thing in plane. So I was very curious because it's one hour and a half about front age and what happens in the front age. And it's, it's extraordinary because you have all the situation following the size of the, of the stairs. So you have a group here, you have washing uh, the, the head, you have this guy with, with a bit like that, you have groups, you have discussions between the different levels. So you have are already extraordinary uh, scenography and explication. So what in the five meters can happen in, 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 in some part of the uh, American cities? Of course, this is a more classical uh, <coughs> situation. So uh, we were in the main a few days before and uh, we, could, we could see at, at first, first time, we, we just see the green and, and the house and nothing happened here. But in fact, if you look, when you, when you come in the, in the beginning of village, it's a very different from a European village, but where you have the church and so on, you have more densification. And things happen in a much deeper way that you could believe at, at first sight, because people are making extension, they are dealing a, a courtyard on the, back, on the back of the houses, and, and so I think it's uh, interesting things to, to see how densification of this uh, 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 kind of city is, uh, is going to move. And this, of course, it's problem we all have is the, the big uh, commercial uh, system here. It's just uh, out of Paris, but we can make the same maps uh, Everywhere, everywhere here, and you have, the, of course, the proportion because all this parking has are calculated for the Saturday of Christmas, and 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 the other day it's half empty. So all the problem of the mutation of the problem, is, it's not the disparation of the car, the mutation of those kind of, of places is is a common problem uh, in a lot of city, and we also you have to look carefully what happens on this parking. There's much more than you can see. You can think at the beginning, you too can see lines and, and cars. But in fact, when you observe it, you, there is a lot of users uh, much more different than you could see. The third point is uh, <clears throat> the high raising building. So what kind of uh, ground floor we can make with high raising uh, building. So this is a famous uh, so uh, Beijing uh, project with different levels. So we say the, the city ground floor is, is at this level, but here is the connection in different levels. It's kind of a, there's the depth like this, but there is also the height like this. And we have another example in uh, Santiago Las Condes, where there is the idea to make the tower uh, here and to and the developer win one more floor because it's kind of cour anglaise uh, downstairs. So just to, to, so this is how we make inquiries and why we make inquiries and the way we did it to, to, to pick up some, uh, some, some solutions, some dimension and so on. And afterwards, uh, it's uh, the second part of the book is how to make a serious lifting, uh, maybe it's not a good word, but a serious uh, work about uh, the renovation, the Projet Urbain, and maybe also new urbanism that you have here. 
Uh, and, and this is the, the thing we are going to discuss with Soraya uh, this afternoon and making a category. So that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>